Okay, hello there everyone, and in this video we're going to uh, talk on uh, or about one example on uh, classical probability. So we want to recall that classical probability has this um, formula, uh, the probability of E, we call that, or we read this as the probability of E is equal to the cardinality of E divided by the cardinality of the sample space. So um, I want to, when I teach this to my students, I don't really use the word cardinality. Um, the definition of cardinality is simply the number of uh, sample points in that certain set. So recall that the sample space is the totality of all the sample points or all the outcomes in a certain experiment. And E is the event. In probability theory, we call this an event. In set theory, we call this simply as a set. So, again, the probability of a certain event is equal to the how many uh, sample points there are in a certain event divided by the number of cardinality or how many they are in the total sample space. So, we want to answer this question. Um, for, for a card drawn from an ordinary deck of cards, find the probability of getting A, a queen, B, a face card, and C, um, Sorry, let's change this. Um, hmm. I'm going to make use of a number card here. I guess I didn't update that. Okay, let's do that. So for a card drawn from an ordinary deck of cards, remember when we say ordinary deck of cards, it is uh, your simple or your uh, your usual de deck of cards, which has 52 cards all in all. Okay, and we want to recall or, you know, just recall that we have um, the cards um, A, in some games, it is the slowest, the lowest number, and also in some games, it's the highest number, and or the highest value. In some, it's both. Okay, we have this A as our um, A's. We got numbers from two up until ten. We have, of course, a jack, a queen, and a king. So this is in a in a single suit. So we have four suits in in a deck of cards. We have the hearts. Uh, we have the diamonds. These are what we call the red cards. We have the uh, the spades. I don't know if I can draw that properly, and of course the the clubs. So we have four suits. Um, in a single suit, we have fourteen cards. So two to ten, um, we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there are thirteen cards, or thirteen uh, unique um, values per suit. So um, thirteen times four suits that will give you fifty-two cards all in all in an ordinary deck of cards. So um, let's find a solution for example one, shall we? So for a uh, solution for um, A, we are asked to uh, find the probability of getting a queen if we're going to get a single card there. So we need to first um, count since we want the set E be the queen. If you want, we can write it as the probability of getting a queen is equal to um, how many queens there are in our ordinary deck of cards divided by the total number of the ordinary deck of cards. So we know that 52 is our denominator here. I'm going to write it as that. And um, how many queens do we have uh, in total? So we have queen of hearts, queen of diamonds, queen of clubs, and um, of course, our queen of spades. So there are four in total. So what we have is four over there and of course we can always simplify as a uh, usual thing that we do in mathematics we need to simplify that um, bit so if that's the case we can divide them find their common um, the least uh, common uh, denominator or least common um, divisor and we know that it's four so we're going to divide this by four the most simplified form is one over 13 and this is our answer for number one or for letter A. Okay, um, let's proceed to letter B here. Letter B is getting a face card. So a face card is any card that has a face. Um, commonly, we denote that as the three uh, people here, the jack, the queen, and the king. So the, these cards have faces, the others don't have faces. Um, we call two to 10 as our number cards, and A is our letter card, it's the unique letter card there. Um, of course, if we want to be very strict, the other cards can be A, J, Queen, and King. Okay, so uh, let's get to find the face card. So I'm going to call this the probability of getting a face card. And this is simply equal to the cardinality of face cards in total 
divided by your sample space s. So uh, again, we know that our sample space is equal to 52. We're going to write it right there. And we're going to count our face cards. So we have three, Jack, Queen, King. So since we know that we have four suits, we have three times four. That will give us, of course, 12. And we will not stop there. We can, of course, simplify this. We can find their uh, least common divisor. And we know that it's four still. So this becomes 12 divided by 4 is going to give us, uh, what, 3. And 52 divided by 4 is we know as 13. And this is our answer. We cannot simplify that because 13 is prime. And that's the simplest form. Okay, so let's proceed to our um, third number, letter C. And letter C is asking about a number card, which I changed that. Um, we're going to make this the probability of getting a number card. Okay, and we will denote it as follows. The cardinality of getting a number card divided by the cardinality of your sample space. And we know our sample space is 52. But how about the number cards? Um, there are 2 to 10. So if we're going to count that manually, that's uh two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's only nine of them um you may think that it's ten but we don't have a one remember so we start with two to ten that's nine of them nine per suit and we're gonna multiply nine by four that's gonna give us how many 36 so that gives us 36 here still this is divisible by four so let's have it um 36 divided by four is gonna give us nine and 52 divided by 4 is 13. And that's our answer for letter C. Okay, so in all cases, we cannot uh, simplify them all because the denominator is 13. So clearly that's prime. And that will be our solution for numbers, um, uh, for letters A. The probability of getting a queen if one card is drawn is 1 over 13. The probability of getting a face card if um, a single card is drawn is 3 over 13. And the probability of getting a number card is 9 over 13. And um, you can actually uh, get or determine the values in decimal. Or that will lead you to get the value in percentages if that's important to you. But um, these answers will be enough. Okay. So thank you very much. I hope you learned something here. And see you in the next video. Bye.